Hey guys, today we're looking at a wheel drive motor that came in with some leaks. This is the actual assembly drawing of the wheel drive motor. So it's a hydraulic motor, generates quite high torque at low RPM. We've actually pulled it apart and tried to find what's gone wrong where. So this is actually the, the main or the front housing if you like. This actually bolts onto the um, frame of the machine. It's actually removed out of a sweeper assembly. So this actually rotates a big rotating broom on a sweeper attachment. It does that with the shaft. Uh, this is a pretty solid chunky shaft, obviously designed to take quite a lot of load. Double tapered roller bearings here preloaded in the factory to a certain preload or this actually fits is, is a is a light press fit into the housing there so this is the output shaft here generally the output shaft on brooms has this block there's a key there's a taper the block is tapered there's a key which we've removed so there's a key driver there's also a tapered fit as well so this block rotates and actually rotates the broom so we started pulling it apart to try and find out where the issue is so we had oil leaking between the four bolt flange and the valve block now the valve blocks bolted onto the four bolt flange through the back here with four High, short high tensile bolt, bolts like that and when we looked carefully the first thing we noticed when we pulled it apart is actually an o-ring that fits in there and this is what we pulled out we pulled out a, a broken o-ring uh, or a chewed out o-ring yeah so that's part of the reason it was leaking but more importantly when we started looking at the threads on this valve block that had a thread that had a thread that had a thread this one doesn't have much of a thread if you look carefully thread doesn't start till quite deep and it's not much of a thread left so we believe this hole here had stripped out and what we also found were when we actually started cleaning apart actually found bits of thread this probably started leaking and someone tried to do those bolts up tighter to stop the leak and actually strip the thread in the um, valve block which kind of renders it useless I mean we could drill and put a thread insert in there and that was plan B but we decided to continue and see if we could find some more dramas or some problems so the principle of that is of this unit is this shaft is with the bearing is mounted is pressed fit into there this is called a distributor this actually rotates with the shaft that this valve block fits over the distributor and bolts onto the, the drive flange this is quite a high tolerance fit in there because it actually distributes oil oil comes in through these two ports gets distributed through here into these two ports through these two o-rings actually prevent sealing uh, comes into the inside here through those internal ports there this unit here then distributes oil out through these holes through this valve this plate here or distributor plate into this rotor assembly all right so as oil under certain pressure comes into certain areas in here it's going to try and force this unit here to rotate as this rotates this shaft the industry most people call it a dog bone because it kind of looks like a dog bone as this 
this part rotates, it transfers rotation down through there, which then rotates this output shaft, but it also rotates this distributor valve, and then obviously comes out here and, and creates your rotation here. So this is all working, you know, up to two up to 200 bar, which is, you know, 3,000 psi. This unit here itself is sized at 315 cc. So to complete one revolution of this internal rotor here, you need 315 cc's of oil to actually make this rotate one revolution. Some of these rollers are loose, some of them are very very tight so these are made to very tight tolerances to minimize internal oil leakage and transfer the maximum amount of torque through this through this bearing and shaft assembly to this out, output block uh, also internally here on this valve block here there are some check valves these are kind of important uh, on motors if you're not using what's called a case drain. So this here is an additional port to return any oil leakage back to tank. But that's not always practical to run an additional line all the way back to tank. So what they can, what they do instead of running a case drain, case drains are imperative if you're running very high pressures, uh, but without the case drain, you need these check valves. So depending on rotation, any oil leakage is always bypassed back to the lower pressure side of the system and then that returns through the tank back through the valve that actually supply the oil. So as we continued our investigation to see you know what else was wrong, if when we looked in here on this shaft, as we were looking in here. Ah, oh, look, we noticed there's actually a piece of the spline, internal spline missing there. And that's what actually, you know, this is part of the input side. This, this shaft is inputting rotation into this shaft here. Yeah, we found a little chip in one of the splines. So, two issues. We've got a strip thread in the valve housing. We've got a chipped tooth on this internal spline. I'm not sure we can get seal kits for these units anymore. There's, there's a global shortage on motors at the moment since not only COVID but also uh, with um, Russia invading the Ukraine. So um, motors are hard to come by. Potentially we could get a, a seal kit but with a stripped thread and a chipped tooth on the output shaft we need to try and find a replacement. We came close today, but it didn't have the internal check valves. Uh, it had a plug in here, so we need to find a, a motor. 315cc per revolution, good for 200 bar, with one in eight tapered shaft. This thread here is one inch UNF, that's 20 threads per inch. Uh, the issue is that we need that one in eight so that we can reuse this block as it is in reasonable condition. Obviously this four bolt wheel mount is also important. So we got very, very close and we were let down by not being able to get a motor with internal check valves. So the search continues. Anyway, I hope this was of some use. Gentlemen, ladies, more to follow. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see please subscribe any questions need any clarifications please call please write please comment uh, hydraulic online we're based out of gold coast australia we ship australia wide and uh, we'll catch you on the next one have a great day